Hello and welcome to another beautiful day on Oweleke TV. This is the time a lot of people actually long for and that's the time we bring you information because you need to be informed so that at least you can be transformed to an extent in a way looking at everything happening around us. My name is Ramsey Enoch and joining me is Michael and Bright. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Good morning. Bright. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning, Bright. Oh, you guys are looking so sharp this morning. Always. Always. As the fuel price dropped, I know still 617 in at NNPC and other few stations are taking 690, 670. Wow, you, 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 you got a vehicle on time today, right? Yes, yes, yes. The well, have, have, have reduced it's reducing, yeah, it's reducing. It's reducing. Okay, okay. I, I think we give God the glory. And of course, today, uh, it's not like yesterday that it was so rainy that some of us, uh, had to come to office drenched. All right. If you're going out today, you may not bother to go with an umbrella. Like I said yesterday, you needed to go with umbrella, but today you can just, uh, maybe you just take it. Because this is the season. Back to the headlines for the day, beginning from the Punch newspaper above the header. I have this headline which says, Amahim as Fubara, wiki supporters clash in rivers. All right, once again, Mayhem as Fubara, wiki supporters clash in River State. It's not over. I was telling my colleagues behind closed doors that, um, as it is right now, Fubara on trying to settle down, one thing will come up again. And I don't know if that man is actually in charge of River State right now. More state coming from the Punch newspaper, Dangote local refinery to end fuel importation. Details read on page 29. A federal government scholars decry 56% allowance cut. Fear expulsion. Details read on page 22. Then the big story says a governor's ministers meet today to stop hunger protests. Well, a lot of agitations going on. A lot of people. Yesterday, I saw some activists at um, a, a bus stop. Is a bus stop or a traffic junction at a T junction at the federal capital territory carrying placards that um the protests must have to go on that Nigerians should come out. But today, governors, ministers will be meeting. A lot of people are saying so many things. The other have been in in one of the papers said, well, they should give Tinubu a little more time. It's just a year and in office. And um, so many people are saying so many things. But the question is this: Will the protest go on? What will stop the protest? Will the hunger subside in the few days to come? All right, our two writers to that story. Reps ask federal government to embrace dialogue as Tinubu sue for peace. He pleaded yesterday with the youth and said it is an appeal. Okay, even IGP, everyone, no one is even using force right now because protest is not so good for this country. The second writer says a Biodon, who's not in my Bauchi government, condemned plant rally about of Benin ages of patients all right um and this one says a pilot hospitalized as plane crash kills 18 in nepal we talk about that it was all over the news yesterday and um i i, I don't know the the pilot has been hospitalized uh we pray that the soul of the faithful departed rest in peace and this is going to be the size of the headlines mm. from uh the punch newspaper uh this morning let's move to the next paper um who's given us the next paper michael what do we have? Which Let's of the papers over, uh, are we starting from? We have the Vanguard for Thursday today, 25th of, Ju of July, 2024. Above the head of the kicker says, Terrorism, federal government resumes mass trial of over 300 suspects. That is coming from ONSA. Away from that, hardship is the kicker of the story. Stranded foreign scholars grown as federal government slashes allowances. Details read page 9. Uh, insecurity perpetrated by organized non-state actors coming from President Bola Ahmed Tinobo. Details read page 8. Away from that, another story I'll take is Meta delete 63,000 Nigerian accounts linked to cessation scams. Details read on same page 8. And then Dangote says, Dangote is the kicker of the story. Stop demarketing local industries. Man, cautious federal government. That's talking about the Manufacturers Association, Association of Nigeria. Of Nigeria yeah. One kicker to that story as CSOs, religious groups, demand probe of NNPC. And we have the big story on the Vanguard today. The kicker says hardship. We will handle plan protests as family matter. Coming from the federal government, we'll have about five riders to the story that I will take. Please with Nigerians to give it more time. South East governors won against nationwide protests. We can't withdraw from protests we didn't organize coming from labor uh tells for the government states to listen to cries 
of Nigerians warned against use of brute force on protesters. Threats won't work, Falana tells federal hmm. government. Talking Falana. about, uh, <laughs> talking about Falana. the Falana. <laughs> ah. Threats. Threats Nigerians won't work. If they want to take on the street, allow them to state their grievances and let's see what comes out from the last but story I take. Yesterday we saw a video from Falana circulating online uh, with the, the, the interview he had with him, Channels TV, mm -hmm. where he, 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 he clearly stated that he's not going to be a party to this. Uh, um, this planned protest because it's 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 obvious that the the, the protest is uh is being uh, is being spared by a group of people that doesn't want to be known they don't want to show their faces but he said he, he doesn't want to get involved in that kind of protest because at the end of the day say he's a reputable man and he doesn't want to be held it's still a good thing to, to tell to tell the presidency that threatening nigerians will not yeah yeah, yeah. So he's giving the legal advice yes but because but nigerians have civic, a fundamental it's human right it's a civic right for peaceful protest yes, yes. but he has the right to yes, protest yeah, or not yeah, yeah, um yeah. him being part of the protest or not i don't think um it's going to make um make too much difference, difference. He, he, he because he may not be hungry he just said something he may he may not be he just said something that might be fishy he may not yeah in in the political setting uh suspicions are always there because these things are uh, sometimes some persons may liken it to the opposition party Absolutely. all right are uh, trying to instigate the people against the ruling party but the then part, yeah. the handwriting is so bold on the wall uh, that people are wall. hungry uh, okay that's just what it is but then i think uh, measures have been put in place so our uh, measures are still being put, put in, in place, place. Uh, so um falano saying that whatever this is two sides of Absolutely. the coin Threaten okay work. don't threat the people it is their right but for me i'm not going to be part of it Absolutely. all right all right the last story i'll take on the vanguard today uh before we move away from that is an interesting story because the super falcons will be confronting brazil today mm. kick off is 6 p.m do well i trust my girls <laughs> i trust my uh, girls I gotta work, you know, no if it is for if it is for the guys mm. okay we'll be saying we'll be jittering yeah. but for the girls brazil, the girls yeah. are ready to take the on girls the are ready yeah. brazil huh. I but brazil but Female they, Brazil, they are not they are not easy too. <laughs> Don't say because yeah, it's not, not the man. Yeah, but I love I love I mean come on I, I have my super super midfielder uh attacking midfielder at Jibade. Watch out for her. Uh, Ajiba is going to be there. As is that? As is that then, from Abba Barcelona? Abba Bola. Abba Bola. Abba Bola. Well, no, she's in the US now, not back anymore. She's in the she, US. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. US she's in the US right now. Yeah, talking of um, as is that for sure. Like, yeah. so do where to pick a copy of your Vanguard today and enjoy the interesting stories. Over to you, Bright. All right, thank you, Michael. Um, with me today, I have the Guardian newspaper. The big story I have here is tough times for poor Nigerians as food inflation worsens malnutrition. I have mm. some writers to that story which says, um, 100 under five children mm. die every hour. Two million eh? suffer acute malnutrition. Take that again. 100 under five children. Under five ch wow. children. Die children every hour. children That's from five years below, down. Yes, under die, five. Die every, two, yes. three to five. Yes. Oh my goodness. 100 under, uh, under five under children five die every children. hour. Every hour. Yes. Oh. 100 two every suffer. hour. Two million suffer from malnutrition. Malnutrition. Yeah. Apart yeah. from those dying, yeah. others are suffering malnutrition. So so in Nigeria, that. We also have another that we say we say Nigeria loses 1.5 billion dollars of its GDP to malnutrition yearly. Hmm. Another writer to this story says, "God have mercy on Nigeria." UNICEF urges federal government to introduce food subsidy and reduce taxes. UNICEF um, urges subsidy. federal government to introduce food subsidy. Very important. And food, uh, I think uh, for me, uh, no taxes. Um, for me, I think um, food subsidy is important. At this point, yes. At this point, at this point in time, food subsidy is important because the people even need to be alive yes. before the leaders can even lead them. If there is no Nigeria, there is no nothing to rule, re re no nobody to lead. So, f subsidizing food is not out of place. All right, even though fuel subsidy has been removed, uh, let that money be channeled, all right, to food. I think uh, one thing that this administration needs to do is strategic planning, okay? You know, um, policies must affect the people either positively or negatively. So what you do is put up uh, strategies, okay, that will make for both sides so that when this kind of thing happens, Instead of running helter skelter, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you just know that okay, there was a preparation for this. So food subsidy, is, I don't think it's out of place. Uh, it's out of place. I think it's, it's quite important yeah. at this point because um, looking at the state of country right now, that, that one shocked the, me. The Hundred rider, children in one hour. The last rider to this story is um, federal government and stakeholders propose sixty million dollars to tackle malnutrition. Um, I have another story which says NDLA naps Lagos drug baron after years of evading arrest. 
Another story we have here today is that Dangote refinery may accelerate closure of Europe existing 90 refineries. Who owns those refineries? That's what we are. Why are, should one refinery right close down 90, 90 existing refineries, refineries, existing refineries in, the, in, 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 Europe. in Europe? Well, that's right. Are you suspecting story. something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's quite this quite Who owns this? About. Kai, we, we, no, you can see we why we they are fighting it. Dangote now. We spoke about it. If Dangote refinery starts automatically, it's people, a bad business. People, meaning, people, 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 meaning, our crude is being exported, exported. All right in. To for to for foreign refinery for foreign refineries owned by and, people and from by some cabas. That's what it means. If refinery in Nigeria is going to close down ninety refineries, okay, in Europe, then you own these refineries on our crude. On our crude, absolutely. That, that, that's to tell you of what we lose <laughs> every we're year. So rich, you're talking about you malnutrition. Guys, talking about malnutrition, and, and we're so, so rich. Oh my God! No wonder Dangote refinery uh, <laughs> he's been fought like this. Tut and nail, tut and nail, front, back, left, right, and center. Another story we have here is a uh, mass kicks as federal government slashes allowance of scholars abroad. Of scholars abroad, those people on scholarship, uh, federal government has slashed their allowance too. And uh, planned hmm. protests, SGF meets Tinubu um, cabinet as APC holds emergency meeting. Well, those people uh, are really there was an emi- there was a meeting yesterday. Yesterday, yes. And, and today we said they like said ministers and governors too. So, yes, then this a, one I another think, uh, meeting. A lot of meetings. Good that, um, we, we can see that this government is very responsive. They take uh, the people the very seriously. Anytime they hear, we we always see them act promptly. Um, that, so, is agreeable. that is agreeable. That is agreeable also. Uh, agreeable uh, also. Uh, no, but, but at at some points better than the previous ad- ad- administration. If, if we want to compare and contrast, you can see that this is, they are quite more. Responsive. Responsive, hundred percent more. But I think they have the more previous. listening ears. Yes, yes, they listen to people um, and they react because this more. is just a planned protest. No, see, they have not even yet, and they are only reacting. <laughs> Being responsive is a, is, a, is a one year thing. Let's see what's going to happen after two, three years. But then, um, well, the protest is looming. Let's get to the last paper, the Daily Trust newspaper, where I have this one above uh, uh, the okay below the rider Dangote refinery. Uh, man wants against the marketing local investment as on Daily Trust, and that's uh, below of the head. And then this one says reconsider 70% forex windfall tax as uh, stakeholders tell federal government. Uh, the big story says uh, dialogue with protest organizers dialogue with protest organizers opposition reps tell federal government what are they saying let there be dialogue like the igp said yesterday uh, let there not be violence uh, like a uh, bright said yesterday from both sides everybody should be schooled and know what to do and know what a protest is all about and what makes a protest peaceful and what makes a protest uh, hijackable then to write us to that story demonstration may compromise peace government is the one saying that in the second writer says Tinubu needs more time. Above Benin is the one saying this. And governor, someone saw this. And the person is from Benin. And the person say, oh, let me call my brother. This is what Oba is saying. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, that's behind closed doors. All right, federal government resume trial of over 300 terrorism uh, suspects. Okay? Then uh, I think that should be the last uh, from the papers this morning. Because uh, we just want to return and bring to you the big story for the day the big story is actually very very big what are we talking about trial okay of 300 terrorism suspects how is it going to end how do you want the trial to go are they even supposed to be tried in the first place or they should just be sent somewhere i didn't mention anywhere all right after the break you'll get to know more about the big story for the day we will return in a key field. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ubeleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Welcome back from that break. It's still outnumbered live on your screen on this wonderful day. We told you when we return. It's going to be time for the big story. And what are we talking about today on the big story? The trial of over 300 uh, terrorism suspects. Um, was it in 215 to, uh, within 215 to 17 or thereabouts, there was a trial of um, some of these terrorists that took place. Some were acquitted. Some integrated into the society. 
uh, we had of um, a jailbreak some times ago at um, Kujay Prison, where some terrors were actually released into the society. We've heard also that some persons were allegedly arrested as sponsors, okay, of these terrorists. All of this put together. And um, one, this trial of what effects, because according to um, what's on the paper, they said resume, federal government resumes, meaning the trial is on and they are resuming on it again. The first set of trial, what has been the outcome? All right. Is it good enough? For these people to be allowed to integrate into the society. Because there was a time we even heard that some repentant uh, Boko Haram will be, um, is it trained also? Or maybe absorbed into some um, strategic places. Is all this healthy for the nation? Fighting security in this country. Is all this healthy? So what do you think? Michael, should be done, all right, to everyone caught or arrested, especially those that are caught on assignment, in action, terrorists that are caught, maybe bandits, maybe um, terrorists, kidnappers. If these people are caught, handy, what do you think should be done? And this trial of over 300 Looking at what happened with the previous trial, those that were acquitted, mm. those that were charged, those that were integrated into the society and all of that. What would you say, okay, could be the impact of this trial? Um, I feel personally, uh, if you can um, study what it's, it's prevalent in other countries, once you're caught in act of terrorism or treason, <laughs> they immediately... Uh, do what is lawful. What do they do? They they try you, and you are immediately executed. Nobody wants to start. But then there are some crimes. What we talk? They are heinous crimes. Crimes are in chaos, in levels. And some heinous crimes. These people have been have, have been terrorists, Boko Haram, uh, banditry. Uh, you know they've been they've been they've been evil. The evil of the society that that we've been hearing. Mm. The bomb blasts. Not mining where anytime that's that's atrocious, and these people are unscrupulous. They, they've they've said, okay, we want to be used by the devil to be enemies of the state. What do you do? Uh, what do you do as a sane person? I would say outrightly, <laughs> outrightly send them to where they belong, because if you have used yourself as an enemy of the state and uh, National Council for um, Counterterrorism. Uh, comes to tell us that, okay, in 2017, 2018, we've had about 163 uh, arrested, 882 discharged, and then uh, averagely 180-something, uh, five, five acquittals, but then there were some were reintegrated into those that were those that were acquitted those that were acquitted mm. the, meaning they were released into the society five acquittals yeah just five acquittals that that means probably they were just uh those that were sent on on errands they were not uh the suicide bombers or they were not engaged in throwing the they bombs. were not real terrorists yeah they, they were not real terrorists you know uh absolutely to say but then i feel what the federal government is trying to, is to tell you that we've been working to see a society that is just uh devoid of insecurity uh coming from the office of the national security Security advisor or NSA is saying that the federal government is working as seriously because right now we're taking it seriously. If we have 300 people to be tried for their crime, for their heinous crimes, that means we have about they, they state that there's about five judges in different courts are simultaneously carrying out mm -hmm. this judgment. What should they do? I, I don't feel reintegration society is it's right right now because we we, we we know that anyone that has been involved in terrorism, sir, it is very hard. They've been indoctrinated, just like Islam is indoctrinated. Nation have been indoctrinated into crime and terrorism. By the time they are released, no matter the social work that the people the people would do to rehabilitate, to reorientate their minds and take them out from being terrorists, a terrorist is, is always a terrorist. Coming back to society, is looking for the next phone to pick, the next junction to snatch people's bags. That's why you see these things happening in in, in municipalities. You will integrate them in what in what in what modality are you using to to reintegrate them? Have you removed their brain? 
their brain stem, their right hemisphere, their, their left hemisphere, their cerebellum, their cerebral cortex? Have you removed it from their brain? Are they are they seeing themselves as pastors now or imams? No, sir. They still know this is what this is what I know how to do best. All right, hold your thought for a minute. Let me get to bright um bright as it is right now. Federal government resumed trials over three hundred um uh terrorism uh scammers or maybe suspects. let me say suspects yeah, suspect, yeah. terrorism suspects uh some of them are actually what some of them do is um they waste lives some of them waste lives um i think um we've had in the past all right where reports come from the chiefs and people who are combating these terrorists that um some of them have been killed some of them were arrested some of them were captured i think part of those that are, were captured and arrested are the ones to be tried now over 300 are about to be tried resuming trial because some trials have happened before okay so what do you think the federal government should do after this trial i know after the trial trial means they are going to face um the law Mm -hmm. Okay, and anyone who is guilty, all right, the needful would have to happen to them. But then these people are terrorists, terrorists, you know. So the trial, how do you think this trial should go? And what do you think the federal government should do to these people on arrest, even before trial? I think um, yesterday when um, I heard that um, the head of um, strategic communications, Abu Michael, to journalists that um, they are they are reviewing about 800 case files of these um, people that uh, they will be presenting about 300 of them. Um, what came to my mind was so far the ones that they have they have rehabilitated that have been re reintegrated back in, into the society. Mm. They, they have done nothing but uh, cause more mayhem, more harm than good to the country. So I don't think because recently, just recently, if you look at what is going on in the country, I think we have missed we have uh, misplaced priorities. That they're currently going on in our in our in, in, in the national assembly actually, because with all due respect, because um, looking at a, a a bill that was passed, I think um in May that um drug uh, drug traffickers. drug traffickers should be should should, should be um should, should be a, um, to death. A, a, a death sentence for death for, sentence. for drug traffickers. Straight, so straight, straight. I think I think, your court, straight. I think it should also is a, a, a stricter. Uh, punishment should be should, Even should also be meted out for for terrorists because terrorists are, are are not are not people that you you try for 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 you don't try terror you don't try people for for terrorism a terrorist should be sent to his maker his maker, his maker that will give him for him our forgiveness you understand we don't forgive it's, it's God that that, that uh, according to Putin recently Putin said that he doesn't forgive. That he will send you to God and God will forgive you. That that is what he does in his country. <laughs> you understand? He doesn't forgive terrorists. Okay, so, let me let me ask you one question now. This thing you're saying is very vital. Let me ask you a question. Can we now at this point say, because we've had in the past that there are some persons who are sponsoring these terrorists. Some have been arrested. Uh, some were named, all right, but they were not shamed publicly for the people to see. Can we say there are people apart from the terrorists themselves there are people behind this terrorism attacks that may be fighting for these people not to face a stricter um punishment like more, even more than that of the drug traffickers i think actually this terrorism of a team it, it's not just about those ones in the field doing the work the main people in, like of of in, in, in this Terrorism are the ones in the public offices. They are, we, we know we know as as we we all know that as uh, as um, as um, civil as as think as critical thinkers that these people cannot work on their own without having more in these uh, government organizations. We know we have some moles in in every organization. So putting you like because uh, we we have we have a house where where we, when the majority speaks. If they go with what the majority says, so I think if the majority can come together to come to to speak, because we believe that the the most in the house cannot be more than the majority. So I believe that if, if the majority come come together to come and speak against this thing, it will be passed definitely. So them trying to stop it might not really pull. You understand? It, 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 it might not really draw water because um, it also happened with the case of um, when they tried to pass the drug uh, the drug trafficking penalty. 
that death penalty. We also saw people co coming out. Yeah, a lot them. of reactions. Yes. So, so it's also going to attract something, something similar to that because in fact, the, our own that, program here was even reacted. Exactly. To. So you, you, we all know that the way these things are, those those people at the top are also parts and parcel of these things. Because most of them tend to benefit from it. We don't know how they tend to benefit, but it's like because for this to be doing sponsoring this terrorism it means you are benefiting a, a whole lot I from so it. I also have a pertinent question because to, to, to those non-culpable suspects that were de-radicalized that we heard over the years and reintegrated into society saying they have profitable ventures, what ventures was that specifically? That's what we need to know. Reintegrated into society, what ventures? What ventures? Have we seen? Have we seen these ventures come to play? You know, and then one very vital thing is that we are waiting for when the sponsors of this terrorism attack will be also tried. All right, not just trying the terrorists alone. The terrorists suspect the terrorism suspects all right they are trying them over 300 to be tried what about, what about the sponsors they are financiers they don't do that. we were told that some financiers were actually appointed at and of course these people need to face the rot of the law let's know that this thing is holistic all right not that you leave the sponsors and the people who are involved in the act are the ones facing because um like just like it is for corruption both the giver and receiver, the receiver. You, you know should go should go face the law the rot of the law same thing should also happen to the terrorists uh, themselves and of course the financiers of this uh, terrorism all right this is going to be the size of uh, the headlines for today and the big story which is all about uh, the trial the resumption of the trial of um, over uh, 300 terrorism uh, suspects which is going to be commencing as it is right now you need to be on the watch because um, anything can happen and of course guard yourself protect yourself uh, anyhow any way you can so that you can be safe because um hunger in the midst of insecurity is double wahala and god is going to deliver us from all of this thank you for being part of the program today we'll come on your way again and that's going to be tomorrow friday that's going to be the tgif edition of Outnumbered. my name is ramsey henok bye bye for now